Hello and welcome to my video tutorial series RPG in a Box. I am Carsten and in this episode I would like to show you how to create multiple river tiles with flowing water animation. The first thing we want to do is create a new tile. So press the new resource button, select type tile and then choose the grid size. My normal grid size is 16 times 16 times 16 voxel. I will create a grass tile first. So I give it a name tile underscore grass and then I press the OK button. Now we are asked if our field should be passable or impassable. My grass field should by default be passable. At this point I will say thank you to Micha and give you a short hint. If you're facing problems while developing RPG in a box games, press the about button and you will find several channels for RPG in a box. Here's the Discord channel, so if you're interested, join us. There are many people which will help each other and also help you by creating asset, music, scripting and concept and art and something else. Join us, I'm sure you will have fun. So back to Micha. He remembered me that I have forgotten to tell you about the noise editor. So will I, I will do it yet. So last time we created our send tile by creating a yellow surface and then manually add sprinkles with the darker and brighter yellow. Now we want to use the noise editor. So open the noise editor and then we have to choose our color. My base color should be 50, 50, 26, which is a nice green. Then click anywhere in the window. And now we can generate our noise. So we see the preview here and I'm searching for not so striped noise like this. And then I, I can use it with OK button. You also can change the octaves, which are iterations to create a noise. So play a little bit with the configuration and try it out. I I'm not into it yet. Maybe in a later episode, I will make a complete episode about the noise editor. I'm not sure about it. So we will use it yet to create the surface layer. To create my river, I need a higher object. So I will use that layer to create a few more. So I press, I end. One method is to use the select tool, but we also can press Control A to select all, then Control C to copy them, and then Control V to paste it. Then we can use the arrow buttons to raise it at one voxel in the set layer. Then we look from the top, we move it to down, and to right, so we create an object with not equal attached colors. So press accept and we will do it again. Select, copy, paste. We raise it by two layers and shift it for four layers down and four right and accept it again. So don't forget to save. And now we want to create several shapes of river from our asset. So we copy it to a new resource and give it a name. It should be a river connected to a crest type and it should be straight. Then press OK. And now we will shape our model from it. So select the erase tool. And now we will dig into our model. So I let two voxels stay at the edges. And then I dig deeper into the object. And now I will create my colors. So I use my custom color scheme. 
And with right mouse button, I can add my colors. The first is 50, 50, 26 for the green press. Then I add B5986E. Five, five, e, which should be the send type. And I will add 4572E3, which should be my water. Now I will color my voxels. So I use the paint tool in the box mode to change the surface to sand. And then I will add a layer of water in my sand. Then I save again. So up to now, it's just a blue surface. To make it more like water, we have to add transparency. We can do that by selecting any color in our model and add this color to the transparent colors by using the Add button. So our color is in the list and we can choose 100% opacity, which says there's no change. And we can select 100% transparency at this side. So I choose a little bit transparency and we can check the effect by saving the model and using the preview button. So we see a blue surface looks more like water. In the next step, we will add it to our map. So exit the preview mode. And before we add it to our map, we have to choose another set setting. So we go to the model properties and change the field setting passable to off. If we forget it, if we forget this setting, we can go through the river, which should be impossible. So save it again, go to the map editor, use the start area, or we'll select the start area, and then drag a line for our new river. And we see the editor recognizes our path settings, so we cannot walk through the river. I see I've got another step. We have a model high of four voxels. So our model raises over our surface level. To change that, we can save the map in the, in the first step, go back to the model, and we can change the surface level with the slider. The surface level determines which voxel high should be used as equal high in our set model and our set level in the map editor. So if we change it and go back to the map editor, we have selected the set axis level zero, and that should be used for our river tile. So if we add the tile again, we see that it's on one level with our sand tiles. And that is the effect I desired. So one more thing is, if you look at the transparency, we see edges. These occur at the border of each model at the grid connection points. To change this, we go back to the voxel editor and we can use the model tools and select remove surface along grid boundaries. So this border effect is removed on each point where the transparency color is attached to the grid. So this line and this line too. Now, if we save and go back to the map editor, we see the changes and it looks like a plain river with plain water. And in the next step, we want to add the 
flowing water effect. So let's go back to the voxel editor and create our river animation. In the first step, I choose the viewpoint front to have an orientation in which direction my water should flow. So I prefer that a river is flowing to the tile direction. Uh, to show you what I mean, I can go to the map editor and if I select the tile, I have a blue arrow which shows the direction of the field. We can use that later in scripts, but it's too far for this episode. I will explain it in the scripting episodes. So if I use the river direction or the flowing direction to the front, this blue arrow shows me the flowing direction of my river in the map editor, which is very helpful. So back to the voxel editor. In this episode, I will keep it simple. So I select a new color. I choose the white one to simulate the waves, bubbles, sparkles, or something else. I don't know the right words for it. So I want to animate it over the time. So I have a 16 voxel grid and I want to design four animation steps. So I have to choose an endless texture of uh, four animated voxels. So we will see it in design after we designed it. Um, we choose the white dots and set one dot on each fourth voxel like this. We will improve it in a later episode. So let's say that our sparkles, bubbles or whatever. And we have the first frame. Now we have to add it as a transparency color too. So let's add to the transparency colors, the transparent colors. And now we have two transparent colors and we choose a higher transparency as an example and save it and we can use the preview so we see there has something like uh, sparkles bubbles however okay that's good for now exit the preview and we go on create the animation we have to duplicate the frame again and now we set each dot one step further like this and every dot which goes out of the one side comes back on the other side so oh there's an there's a better option let's go back and we can use the select tool to select the surface look from the top and move it to the down side down so each voxel which goes outside at the bottom comes back from the top so we have the next frame and we can save it and duplicate that and select our water again and move one voxel further and do it again and for a straight river, we can use this to create our animation and we are ready. So we have four frames and we have a flowing water animation. So let's add the animation. We choose the type default from, from frame one to frame four in a loop with speed eight frames per second. And if we save it, we can use the preview mode to see the effect. But first preview and then start. And now we see our water effect. So that's pretty simple, but it 
shows the concept of animating stuff. So let's go to the curve. No, stop. We will check it out in the game first. So let's start the game. And now I see I have Fog of War, but I see my animation in the map. And it looks okay. So now let's go to curve. An additional, let's remove the fog of war. So choose. I don't get it. Fog. Ah, gameplay, custom, mechanics. This is there. It is so okay. And now to the curve. So let's choose our tile grass and we take another copy and call it river attached to grass corner and we say right okay by right i mean the flowing direction so we take the erase tool and we cut the bed of our river out of our texture like the one before. one voxel too much so this is okay and that looks pretty good so we color the river the sand part of the river. So, okay, and this works too. And now we add our water surface again. And also we have to set the transparency effect again. Oh no transparency and I think I had this setting so we save it and now we add our sparkles or bubbles again so select the front to have an orientation so our river comes from here and goes to this direction and we select or animation or animated straight river and to start we will choose the the pattern we designed previously and paste it into our river so we have to design four steps and additionally, we have a pattern to leave the river, which we also have to set. At this point. Yeah. So, <coughs> and now we want to animate it in four steps. So let's add more sparkles like this, so, like this and that and this and that. And we copy the frame and move each sparkle one step further. So like this so 
we have to choose the color tool, of course. And this, this. And the next frame. And our fourth and last frame. And this should do it for now. So let's test our animation. Okay, and add the animation type default. Four frames, loop eight frames per second. So it matches with our previous made animation. And then we add it to our map. So we select the river type and we also have to edit the properties so it's impassable with a surface level of four. So excuse me and we will add this one to the map. And another hind you can use the, the, the alternative or the alternate button to um, take a pattern from your map and you can use the control button to adjust your high level to the selected tile. So we can use this with control and add it to, the, to our map and we have to correct the paths on our map. So that's okay. And we have a shape and corner in our transparency effects which we want to remove and additional. We have to add our bubbles or sparkles to the transparency effects. And we had level three points from the end. So like this, okay. And now let's check it out in the game. So we see it's not perfect, but it's a flowing water effect. So pretty good for now. One more thing I want to show is how we can build a bridge over the river. So we can choose our river tile and also made a copy and call it bridge a bridge every time is over a river so we let the part river away and use attach to grass and straight is also obvious so let's say it's okay And now we will build the bridge. And from this tile, because then we have the animation of our water 
under the bridge and it's perfect in sequence with all other river part tiles. So let's make a simple bridge by adding, uh, let's say this color and add a line at the left and the right. And then we make platform like this. It's pretty good. And now we raise the level of the bridge and we can use the face mode now to add more voxels at this edge. So we made the surface and now we will add a railing. Or we can do this and this. Now we have a bridge, but we don't should forget that we have more than one frame and we have to add the bridge in each frame. So select every voxel, use copy and paste to add it to each of our frames. And now save the tile. Check the passability. So a bridge should be passable, of course. Save it and we add it to our map. And add the walk and interacting line. Then we save the map and we check it in the map again. So we should be able to go over the bridge and we made it. Okay, that's it for now with this episode. For the next episode, I plan to add a much better animated river and also I will make a design and a concept for modular building parts for walls and so something in this direction so if you liked it so far give me thumbs up stay tuned i would be very excited about your subscription and see you in the next episode bye